What's up YouTube? I'm Eric and I'm back with another video. Before we get started with this video, subscribe, comment down below, and like this video. As you can see by the title, today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. So this video is going to be titled, Why I Quit My Job. Hmm. I know you're thinking, what? You left your job? Why? Why are you leaving your job when you got a family? The, the simple reason is this. Let me start all the way from the beginning. Rewind. So when I first got my job, I was so happy. Nobody couldn't tell me nothing. I had this job, I could pay all my bills, I can go out and do what I want to do. Um, nobody couldn't tell me nothing. I'm sitting here like, Right before I got the job, I was like, no, please, let me get job. Man. and so I can do what I need to do. So he answered my prayers and I finally got this job. When I first got this job, I, I just like many other people, tried to do my best at the beginning of, of, of working at this job. And I was like a sponge. I was soaking up everything that I could learn and basically being the best that I could be. But uh, year after year, everything was all good. So I, I was getting raises, uh, doing company functions, and it was great until it wasn't. I was working, I could do the job, and I could still do the job today, but things kind of changed or whatever. But I was doing the job and, and I was doing good, getting raises after raises after raises, but it became a point where I was getting the raise and I wasn't excited about getting the raise after a while. One thing that I could say about this job, it, it was a, a good learning experience. I learned more than I knew before I had came. But, you know, everything has a season. So, so what I started doing was listening to people like uh, Eric Thomas, Les Brown, John Rowan, T.D. Jakes, were some of the people that, that helped me to push on because it was good working at this job, but I wanted more out of, out of a career or, or out of my life. So I started thinking, do I really want to stay at this job? It was good, but it wasn't all that great. But I started asking myself, do I want to be here when I'm 40, 50 years old and then realizing like I should have went out and, and did what I really wanted to do out of life. I didn't want to just sit there and work at this, this nine to five and then look back at my life and then like, dang, I should have went to go do this when I was this young. So, I started listening, like I said, to Les Brown, T.D. Jakes, um, Eric Thomas, and I'll put links in the description of those people so maybe you guys can get uh, information. It's, it's so motivating and inspiring about their stories and, and what they had to go through to to become the people that they are today. At this specific job, I realized there were a whole lot of men and women that worked there that I kind of saw the regret on their face as they worked in day in and day out. And, and they were like, man, if, you, if I had a chance to leave, I, I would leave. But I didn't want to be like them being 60, 70. I, we had some some older people at this job. I didn't want to be like 60, 70 years old and be like, dang, I should have, I should have left when I, when I had the change. Now that I left, I have no regret at all. 
I should actually I should have been the left because it took me a long time to even bring up the courage to to put in my two weeks notice because it took me like maybe a year year and a half to actually do it so i was at this job like a year a year and a half more than i should have been there the process when i finally wrote my two week notice it was like i was scared to actually turn it in because it took me a minute to turn it in but but when I finally did it, everybody was like, what? I can't believe Eric is turning in his two week notice. What we gonna do without him? I know that sounds like exaggerating, but it's, it's actually true. So every morning I would come in and I'd be like, should I turn in this two week notice? Or no, I'd be so, I'm, I'm talking about like butterflies were all in my stomach and I didn't know whether to do it or not. Should I leave or should I stay? Eventually, yes, I turned it in, but it was a long process for me to do. I'm actually glad I did it. So if you guys like this video, make sure you comment down below your thoughts. Make sure you like this video, comment and subscribe so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. I'll see you guys on the next video.